In this video, we'll talk about drop T test. So let's understand what is drop T test. Drop T test is a blood test which can be used to determine a recent incidence of a heart attack. Drop T test is a blood test which can detect heart attack or the risk of developing angina pectoralis or severe chest pain. So in this test, just blood is drawn from the vein and a small test strip is used to determine whether the individual is drop T positive or negative. Now in your sample after 12 hours of the severe chest pain, if you don't have drop T, then you are okay. But if drop T is detected in the blood, that means you have a heart attack in last uh, during the last chest pain. So overall, drop T gives us an idea about whether a heart attack has taken place or not. So when drop T test is done, it is done when you have severe chest pain or you might have a cardiac issue. So how drop T test is done? It's very simple. The technician takes a little bit amount of blood and put it on a drop T test strip. In the top drop T test strip, the blood diffuses through a capillary like situation and there are preloaded antibodies for the drop T antigen. Now from the drop T test, we can determine whether the test is negative or positive. So we have to wait for about 30 minutes for this reaction to occur. If two lines are appearing in the test strip, that means the test is positive. And if one line is appearing, that means the test is negative. Note that if no line appears, that means the test strip is not actually functional. Even if it is negative, one line should be always appearing and this is the positive control. Now ELISA based assays can also be used to determine the TROP-T level in the blood. So wait a minute, what is TROP-T? And let's understand how TROP-T test actually works. So in our muscles, there are actin, myosin and troponin. So in the red, you can see the troponin molecules. So if you zoom in, you would see there are three types of troponins. Troponin I, troponin C and troponin T. This troponin T is actually abbreviated as TROP T. Be it skeletal muscle or be it cardiac muscle. All these three troponins would be present. But the troponins found in cardiac muscle are a bit different from the skeletal muscle versions. So cardiac troponin T is different from the skeletal muscle ones. Generally, these kind of troponins are supposed to be present in the, in the muscle and they are never released in the blood. Under circumstances of heart attack, cardiac troponin T is actually leaking into the bloodstream. And our test actually detects this particular cardiac troponin from the blood. So from the patient's blood, using an antigen antibody reaction, cardiac troponin is actually detected. And that is the sole biology behind the TROP T test. So I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can get more notes and flashcard. You can visit my Facebook page, support our channel using uh, super thanks. See you in next video.